Wayne Thiebaud is an American painter. He was born in 1920 in Arizona and now lives in San Francisco. He will be 100 years old on November 15th, 2020. His subjects include cakes, pies, ice cream sundaes, pastries, and also landscapes and people. A signature of his is his thick brushstrokes, like you can see in this painting. Take a closer look. It's almost like he frosted his paintings. He is also known for his use of color. Look at the outlines of these gumball machines. See how he's outlined them with pink, green, and yellow lines? Look at all the colors and brushstrokes in this painting. This painting, Encased Cakes, sold at auction for, ready for it, $8.46 million dollars in the year 2019. Here is an example of a landscape painting. They are often of Southern California, where he lives. One of his early jobs was working for the Walt Disney Studios Animation Department, which probably inspired this piece, later on to be owned by Walt Disney's daughter. He was also an artist for the U.S. Army Air Force during World War II, and he was also a teacher. A supply list today includes salt o clay, a non-stick surface to work on, tools like a toothpick, plastic knife, or cookie cutter, a cup of water, and flour if you need it. To make salt o clay, watch the video on how to make it. Hello, artists. Today, we are inspired by Wayne Thiebaud's beautiful paintings of cakes and pies and ice cream and all of his good bakery. Mm -mm -mm. So instead of drawing it or painting it in two dimension though, I thought it would be fun to go three dimensional. So I'm going to use some salt dough clay I made. If you need to learn how to make salt dough clay, I have another video that that's all about is how to make your clay. Make sure you are working on a surface, not directly on your table, but on a placemat, like a plastic one or a plate or um, a tray, something that it's not gonna stick. I even like to sprinkle a little bit of flour on my surface and on my hands to help with the tackiness and the stickiness. So let me get out my salt dough clay here. It's a uh, one fourth cup water, one fourth cup salt, and a half a cup of flour or gluten-free flour. You mix it all together and you knead it and you have some salt dough clay. So I thought it would be really fun to make some miniature cupcakes. Some real tiny fun cupcakes here. I'm just making like the bottom. I'm gonna use, I'm a butter knife. You could use a toothpick or a plastic knife. And I'm pushing lines in like the cupcake Holder, the texture of that. I'm just going to set it down there. And then I am going to make a coil for my frosting. You can make these any size you want. I just think things in miniature are so cute. You can make so many different things with your salto clay, but since we're learning about Wayne Thiebaud, I thought we should do bakery. All right. 
Got my coil rolled out, rolled out here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So just dipping my finger just barely in there. Put a little bit of water on there. You don't want it to get a soggy cupcake. And I'm gonna roll. My frosting. There we go. And then set that down to dry. And it takes about two days for it to dry out. Or you can put it in the oven with adult supervision for 150 degrees. Or set it outside in the sun. All right, I'm gonna work on another little miniature cupcake here. While I'm doing this, let's think of, let's brainstorm some other foods we could make miniature, like pizza, or donut, maybe a lollipop. Make that spiral for the top of the lollipop. When I was a kid, I used to love to make food out of Play-Doh and I'd always make pierogies because my grandmother, she'd always make pierogies and I just loved watching her make them and the way she would knead them and pinch them and I used to always fill my little pierogies with my own little concoctions. All right, the frosting, we're gonna lay it right over there. I'm keeping this frosting nice and smooth. Kind of looks like Toadstool from Mario Kart. And then this guy's gonna have sprinkles. So instead of painting sprinkles on, I'm gonna make them out of my salt dough clay here. And I'm going to just pinch them off and set them right on there. All right, maybe they're chocolate chips. I don't know. Best part about art is you don't have to have all the ideas ahead of time. You can think of some of the ideas as you go. All right, here is a miniature cupcake that I did earlier and I put a little spiral rose on it and a little leaf that I just used a little toothpick with. Made the little dent there. Now I'm gonna make a cupcake, but I'm gonna make it flat. So it's like we are looking, taking the cupcake and turning it this way, and we're looking down on it. So I'm gonna make a rectangle-ish shape and take my butter knife and make those cupcake marks. And then make the top a little wider and the bottom a little thinner. And now we need to make my cupcake topper. So we're gonna make a slab. Ooh, it needs to be bigger. More cupcake. Press that down. And then I'm gonna just push my thumbs in like it's dripping with frosting. Put that right next to it. There we go. And then this cupcake is going to have a cherry on top. So again, you might have some fun craft supplies at home like glitter or glitter glue or some gems or some confetti that you could glue and paint on afterwards. There we go, it all just kind of depends on what you have at home. 
And there we have a cupcake looking that way. I also made a um, donut earlier that I thought if you did have a lot of fun craft supplies at home, a donut would be really fun to um, decorate and make all sorts of different fun flavors like they do at the store. So I can't wait to see what Wayne Tebowed inspired 3D bakery, salt dough, clay creations you come up with. Until then, happy making artists.